All right, everybody, what is up? A really quick packing tip that I wish I knew earlier when I started backpacking. One of the things I think a lot of people do when they first start, and what I did, um, I would get all my stuff and I would put it in uh, these compression sacks. This is my sleeping bag, um, and it's like the waterproof compression that you can kind of push all the air out, cinch this thing down really small. I thought it was great. Got my sleeping bag all the way down this tiny little thing. This is my sleeping pad now. The one I used to carry was, you know, more like this size, um, was the single version of this, is the double, but was much bigger. Um, and then I would put all my clothes into a stuff sack. And then I had, you know, this was my tent that I carried at the time, MSR's Freelight 2. But even now with a tent like the X-Mid from Durston, like you get it into a stuff sack. Uh, and it's it's a little bigger. This is probably what my old sleeping pad looked like was a, a BA one But one of the things that would happen when you do this is you start packing and I'm kind of using this I hope you can kind of see through it, but I'll throw it away in a second But um, as you start packing you start putting these things in you end up uh, kind of with these like odd size gaps and you're trying to fit all these little things in here um, and you can kind of see there's all this like space that's just not being used um, and it kind of creates these like awkward parts in your pack and it can be super uncomfortable. Um, and I don't know, I, you know, if you start just like stacking these things on top of each other, you can kind of see that there's these gaps, uh, and those gaps in your pack just are kind of wasted space. You could probably carry a much smaller pack, uh, than just, you know, stacking the three of these up or trying to slot things in here. It creates like odd bulges in the back of your pack that I would find would kind of like poke at me and I'd have to like kind of, you know, knead out like a spot in my pack to get a, a stuff sack to change shape. Um, and then, you know, like I would throw in my, my stove and my, um, at the time I had a stuff sack for my pillow. I don't know where it's gone, but you know, you start like kind of throwing these in there and you end up with a bunch of cylinder shapes and cylinders like just don't, they don't fit together very efficiently. So this is what I do now and what I think you should do and you'll find it a lot more comfortable. So I'm gonna take all the stuff out of stuff sacks and show you. All right, so I've taken everything except my tent out of uh, these bags. These are my clothes, sleeping bags. This is all just kind of like demo stuff. But, um, and what I have here is a trash compactor bag. This, maybe I have two. I have two trash compactor bags. I think I paid 10 bucks for like 10 of these on Amazon or eBay or something. But these are now what I use to kind of help with waterproofing. So, Instead of carrying a bunch of waterproof stuff sacks, I'll take this, drop it down into my pack, uh, which is this pack, Durston Kakwa. And then <clears throat> I'll start with my sleeping bag and anything I don't want to get wet, I will put into this Ugh. and just start stuffing it down. There we go, up, 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 there we go. These things are pretty durable. Like I said, they're trash can pack a bag, so like, you don't have to be super, super fragile with them. Um, any clothes I don't want to get wet, like if I have like a pair of socks that are like sleeping socks and maybe like sleeping pants and shirt, I don't know, whatever I'm carrying, probably too much. Um, probably don't need this stuff, but uh, probably wouldn't care if that got, if they got wet or dry. Um, and that's kind of it. So then take this, kind of wrap it, push it all down. Get all of it out. If you're carrying a bear can, put this into your pack and then put the bear can on top of it. And then, once you kind of got stuff out of it, some air out of it, you can start tossing in some of the other stuff. And again, I took my sleeping pad out, so I might just kind of toss this back in there like that. I might take my pillow, toss it in flat. Um, this is not the stove I use anymore, but I would find my stove. Well, here's a peanut butter jar. This is kind of what I use now. So I might toss my peanut butter jar in there. Um, and then my tent, depending on if my tent's going in my pack or on the outside of my pack, uh, what I would probably do with my tent, if I have the fly, actually, if I was using this tent, um, I would probably be using this tent because it's a little bit lighter. But if I was using, in my, in my newer days, I used this free light too. So I might take the fly, keep it on the outside because it was likely wet. If the inside had stayed dry and didn't have moisture or condensation in it, then I would kind of just stuff it back in on top as well. 
Um, and then poles and stakes, I would probably just toss the stakes inside and then throw the poles on the side. I would take it out of the stuff side, throw the poles on the inside. Um, and that's kind of that. I would use this, everything with the bear can in there, this would be much bigger. Um, and everything would start to just sort of puff that down, push that sleeping bag down. And you can kind of see in here, um, it fills up the gaps a lot better. It creates like a smooth, soft spot on your back. Um, so you don't have like a lump from like a, a stuff sack poking you in the back, uh, which is never comfortable. Um, and it's really the, the trash bag liner stays waterproof. So if you do get rained on, the stuff that gets wet doesn't really matter if it gets wet. The stuff that doesn't, you know, you don't want to get wet stays dry in the pack liner. So um, that's kind of it. Just a really quick, easy way to pack your pack a little more efficiently, a little more comfortable, uh, and hopefully save a little bit of weight by getting rid of all the stuff sacks. So thanks. If you like it, subscribe, like, leave a comment, um, and thanks for tuning in. See you later.